Hello everyone! For this video, we will be solving more examples about rational equations. Kapag sinabi natin na rational equations, we are involved with rational expressions na meron tayong ratio ng dalawang polynomials. Kaya for this discussion, marami tayong makikita na fractions. Let's start with our first problem. We have our 6 over x plus 1 is equal to 4 over x. Ang technique na gagawin natin is tatanggalin natin yung ating denominator para hindi na fraction yung isasolve natin by multiplying both sides of our equation dun sa LCD natin or the least common denominator. Kaso nga lang, hindi masyadong halata kung ano yung LCD natin kasi meron tayong variables. We are given with x plus 1 and then x. Kaya ang safe bet natin, ang kukunin natin na LCD is the products nung dalawang denominator. So that is yung una natin, we have our x plus 1, and then yung pangalawa natin, this is times x. Kasi kapag ginawa natin to, we multiply yung products ng denominator na x plus 1 times x dun sa both sides ng ating equation. Let's start dito sa ating left side. So this will become, kopihin natin yung ating LCD na x plus 1 times x, tapos yung numerator, we have our 6. Kaya ilalagay lang natin si 6 dito. Tapos, retained yung ating denominator na x plus 1. Ang kagandahan dito is we have our x plus 1 dun sa ating numerator at sa denominator. With this, we can divide. Paalala lang, hindi tayo basta-basta nagka-cancel kasi wala namang basic operation na cancellation. What we are doing is division kasi ang operation dito sa ating numerator ay multiplication kaya pwede siya. Now, we have x plus 1 divided by x plus 1. Since pareho sila, if we divide same terms, this is just equal to 1. That's it for our left side, this is equal to. Doon naman sa ating right side, same. Imumultiply natin yung LCD doon sa ating 4 over x. So this will become yung ating x plus 1 times x. Tapos yung nasa numerator natin na 4. So this is times 4. And this is all over yung denominator natin na x. Same as our left side, kung mapansin natin, Meron tayong x sa numerator at sa denominator. So, we can perform our division. So, x divided by x, this is just equal to 1. Kaya kapag ginawa natin yung multiplication na natira sa ating left side at right side, we have 1 times x times 6. Pwede natin siyang gawin simply as 6x. And then, this is equal to, yung ating right side, we have x plus 1 times 1 times 4. Ito muna yung gagawin natin, yung 1 times 4. Isulat muna natin ulit sila. We have our x plus 1 and then times 4. We can simplify yung ating right side by multiplying yung x plus 1 kay 4. Para magawa yun, imumultiply natin si x kay 4. Tapos si 1, imumultiply din natin siya by 4. So, this is equal to, kopyahin muna natin yung ating left side. We have 6x. This is equal to x times 4. This is 4x. And then 1 times 4. This is 4. Ang kailangan natin is isolve yung value ng ating x. Pero meron pa tayong dalawang terms na merong x, kaya pagsamahin natin sila sa isang side ng ating equation. Ang gagawin natin is ililipat natin yung 4x dito sa left side, and then kapag ginawa natin yun, kukunin natin yung opposite sign niya. So this is 6x, tapos si positive 4x will become negative 4x, tapos yung natira sa ating right side is simply 4. Then 6x minus 4x, since they share the same variable, Iperperform na lang natin yung operation sa nilang coefficient. We have 6 minus 4. Equal lang siya sa 2. And then we copy the variable x and then this is equal to 4. Medyo malapit na tayo kasi eto na lang yung value ng x natin kaso meron pa tayong 2. The operation between 2 and x is multiplication. Kaya para matanggal natin yung 2, let us divide both sides of our equation by 2. Kasi kapag kaginawa natin yun, we have 2 divided by 2. This is equal to 1. And then 1 times x, this is already equal to x. Sa ating right side, we have 4 divided by 2. This is simply 2. Finally, nasolve na natin yung ating rational equation. Our x is simply equal to positive 2. Again, as we run through our process, kailangan lang natin i-multiply yung ating rational function or rational equation by the LCD. In this case, ang LCD lang ay yung products ng ating denominator. Tapos, the rest of the process is just simplification by using algebraic methods. Now that we have our final answer, pwede na tayong pumunta sa ating pangalawang example. So, we have our second example here. 
x over x plus 3 is equal to x plus 4 over x minus 2. Kagaya ng ginawa natin sa una, let us multiply both sides of our equation by d LCD. At ang gagamitin natin na LCD ay yung products lang ng ating denominator. So that is just x plus 3 times dun sa ating right side na x minus 2. Then we multiply yung ating LCD dito sa ating left side ng ating equation. So we have x plus 3 and then x minus 2. Tapos yung natira dito, we have our x. So this is times x. Retain si denominator, we have our x plus 3. Tapos sa right side, we multiply our LCD to x plus 4. So we have x plus 3 times x minus 2 tapos yung ating x plus 4. Then this is all over yung ating x minus 2 na denominator. Ang kagandahan dito is as we observe our numerator dito sa ating left side, meron tayong x plus 3. Tapos, meron din tayong x plus 3 dito sa ating denominator. With this, we can perform our division. We can divide x plus 3 divided by x plus 3. Dahil pareho sila, ang sagot lang natin is just equal to 1. Same dito sa right side, meron tayong x minus 2 and then divided by x minus 2. Since magkapareho sila, ang sagot lang natin dito is 1. With this, we can perform our operation. Ang natira na lang sa ating left side is x minus 2 times x, and then dun sa ating right side, we have x plus 3 times x plus 4. On this part of our solution, nawala na yung ating fraction, kaya tayo kumuha ng LCD. Ang kailangan na lang natin gawin is to simplify this equation para makuha natin yung value ng ating x. So let's start with our left side. We have our x minus 2 times x. Para magawa natin to, we will be multiplying yung ating first term dito sa ating x, so x times x, tapos yung second term naman natin na negative 2 ay multiply din natin by x. Performing the multiplication, we have our x times x, this is equal to x squared. Kasi kung titignan natin, both x can be written as x raised to 1. By loss of exponent, kapag kumukuha tayo ng products with the same base, ang gagawin lang natin is i-add natin yung exponents nila. So we have our 1 plus 1 and that is equal to 2 tapos kukopyahin lang natin yung base niya na x. So, this is the reason bakit x squared yung sagot sa x times x. And then, we have our negative 2 times x, that is this equal to negative 2x. And then, this is equal to, dito naman sa ating right side, since we have two terms, x plus 3 times x plus 4, we will be performing the multiplication one at a time. Magsimula muna tayo dito sa ating first term, si x. Siya yung imumultiply natin kay x sa kabila and then kay 4. So, we have x times x, this is still x squared, and then x times 4, that is 4x. Tapos, dun tayo sa second term, we have our 3, siya naman yung imumultiply natin kay x, tsaka kay 4. So, this is equal to 3 times x, that is just 3x, and then 3 times 4, that is 12. Ngayon, para makuha natin yung value ng ating x, lahat ng merong x, ililipat natin sa isang side ng ating equation. So, let us start with our x squared. Since meron tayong isa dito, itong nasa right side, siya yung ililipat ko. This is positive x squared. Kaya kapag nilipat ko, this will become negative x squared. So, we have our x squared minus x squared. And then, yung x lang ang variables, we have our minus 2x. So, this is minus 2x. Tapos sa kabila, we have positive 4x and positive 3x. Kapag nilipat natin sa kabila, they will both become negative. So, this is minus 4x minus 3x. Tapos, sa right side natin, this is just equal to 12. Kasi siya lang naman yung walang x dito sa ating equation. Then, simplification process na lang to. We have our x squared minus x squared. Dahil pareho sila, if we are subtracting same terms, this will just become equal to 0. Tapos, performing the operation, since pare-pareho sila ng variable, Gagawa na lang natin ng operation yung coefficients nila. We have negative 2 minus 4. This is negative 6 minus 3. That is just equal to negative 9. And then we copy the variable x and then this is equal to 12. Lastly, ang kailangan na lang natin tanggalin ay si negative 9 para makuha natin yung value ng x. Since again, multiplication yung operation nila, para mawala si negative 9, we divide both sides of our equation by that negative 9. 
As a negative 9 divided by negative 9, this will become 1. And then 1 times x, ang matitira na lang dito ay si x. Tapos dito sa ating right side, we are performing division. Positive yung nasa taas, negative yung nasa baba. Kaya ang sagot dito ay negative. Kasi kapag nagmumultiply tayo at nagdi-divide ng integers nang magkaiba yung sign, the answer is negative. So we have 12 over 9. Kapag kinuha natin yung lowest term, they are both divisible by 3. Ibig sabihin, pwede natin silang i-divide by 3 without any remainder. So 12 divided by 3, that is just 4. And then 9 divided by 3, that is just 3. So we have the value of our x which is equal to negative 4 over 3. This is our final answer. Ngayon na nasolve na natin to, we can finally proceed with our last example for our solving rational equations. Going with our third example, we have x plus 4 over x plus 2 is equal to 2x plus 8 over x plus 1. So we do the same process. Kailangan muna nating tanggalin yung ating denominator by multiplying both sides of our equation dun sa products ng ating denominator. Siya yung LCD. So that is just equal to x plus 2 times x plus 1. Then performing the multiplication, dito muna tayo sa ating left side. So we have our LCD na x plus 2 times x plus 1. Tapos yung nasa numerator ng left side which is x plus 4. And then wala tayong ginawa sa denominator so this is still over x plus 2. Dito sa ating kabilang side, meron tayong LCD. So still we multiply dito sa ating right side. So we write our x plus 2 times x plus 1. Tapos yung nasa numerator we have 2x and then plus 8. Still, we have the same denominator which is x plus 1. Then again, meron tayong parehong terms sa numerator at denominator so we can perform our division. So we have x plus 2 divided by x plus 2. This is just equal to 1. Kaya matitirang term ay nandito na. And then sa right side, merong x plus 1 over x plus 1. Kaya we can simplify this equation as x plus 1 times x plus 4 and then dito sa ating right side, ang natira naman ay x plus 2 times 2x plus 8. Then we have products ng binomials. Wala tayong choice. We have to multiply. So let's start with our first term, si x. Ang multiply natin kay x tsaka kay 4. Then performing our multiplication, x times x, that is x squared. x times 4, that is 4x. Then going dun sa ating second term, we have 1. Siya yung multiply natin kay x sa kay 4. Kaya 1 times x, that is just x. And then 1 times 4, that is 4. Right side, we have our x plus 2 times 2x plus 8. Let us get our first term si x. Siya yung multiply natin kay 2x sa kay 8. Then doing that, we have our x times 2x, that is 2. And then x squared. x times 8, that is 8x. Tapos for our second term, we have 2 times 2x and then times 8. So that is just equal to 2 times 2, that is 4. So that is 4 and then x. And lastly, 2 times 8, that is positive 16. Medyo komplikado yung equation, kaya ang gagawin natin is ililipat ko lahat ng terms sa isang side ng ating equation. So to shorten our solution, ang ililipat ko ay yung nasa left side. Kasi this is 2x squared, tapos pag nilipat ko sa x squared sa kabila, mananatili na positive yung ating leading term. Mas madali natin siyang masasolve that way. So doing that, transferring lahat ng terms sa ating right side, we have our 0 muna yung nasa left side kasi ililipat natin lahat sa kabila and then magsimula tayo sa lahat ng merong x squared. So yung 2x squared, nasa right side na naman siya kaya retain yung sign. Tapos yung x squared, since ililipat natin siya from positive, this will become negative x squared. Tapos proceed tayo dun sa lahat ng merong x I perform na natin yung operation, we have our 8x plus 4x, this is just equal to 12x. Kaya isusulat ko dito, this is plus 12x. Tapos yung nasa kabila, we have 4x plus x, this is just equal to 5x. Pero dahil nasa left side siya, lumilipat tayo sa right side, kaya yung 5x positive will become negative 5x. And then we have our numbers here, we have our constant 16. And dito na naman siya sa right side, kaya retained yung sign niya. So, this is plus 16. Tapos, yung nasa kabila naman, we have our 4. 
since positive siya, ililipat natin sa kabila, gagawin ko siyang negative. So, this is minus 4. Then, performing the operation, this is equal to 0 sa ating left side kasi lahat nilipat na natin. And then, this is equal to, we have our 2x squared minus x squared. So, we have 2 minus 1, that is just 1. And then, multiplied dun sa ating variable na x squared. Kaya, 1 times x squared is already x squared. Tapos, dun sa x natin, we have 12x minus 5x. 12 minus 5 is 7. Kaya, this is plus 7x. And then, 16 minus 4, that's equal to 12. Ayusin lang natin yung ating equation. Pagbalik na rin ko lang yung ating left side at right side. So, we have x squared plus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. Now, for this part, pwede natin itanong, Sir, paano natin kukunin yung value ng ating x? Kung kapansin natin, meron tayong isang quadratic equation na x squared plus 7x plus 12. Kaya para makuha natin yung value ng ating x, we will be doing factoring by trial and error. So, paano gawin yun? Maglalagay lang tayo ng ating dalawang parenthesis. Dito natin ilalagay yung factors. This is equal to 0. Tapos kukunin natin yung factors ng ating first term. Ilalagay natin dito sa unahan. And then yung factors ng ating last term dito naman sa kabilang side. So, doing that, ang factors ng x squared, pwede natin ilagay si x times x. That is equal to x squared. Tapos, yung ating third term, gagawa tayo ng paraan. Kaya nga sa trial and error, huhulaan natin kung ano yung pwedeng lagay natin dito na kapag minultiply natin sila dito kay x, pati yung nandito sa ating labas na x, tapos yung nasa dulo, if we add them, dapat ang sagot ay yung middle term natin na 7x. Ano ba yung pwedeng factors ng 12? 12 times 1, 6 times 2, 4 times 3. Pero for this one, gagamitin ko ay si 4 times 3. So, we have x plus 4 times x plus 3. Bakit 3? Kasi 4 times x, this is just equal to 4x. Tapos, x times 3, this is equal to 3x. Kapag pinag-add natin sila, ang sagot ay 7x. And that is our middle term. Kaya tama na yung factors ay x plus 4 times x plus 3. Ano yung gamit nito? We can solve them separately. Kukunin natin yung ating una na x plus 4. I-equate natin siya to 0. Tapos yung ating pangalawa na x plus 3, siya ay i-equate din natin to 0. So we have x plus 3 is equal to 0. Then we can solve for the value of x. Ililipat lang natin yung ating 4, saka yung 3 sa kabilang side ng ating equation. So, we have x is equal to, si positive 4 will become negative 4. Sa kabila, x is equal to, yung positive 3 will become negative 3. The values of our x, dalawa siya, we have negative 4 and negative 3. This is how we solve for the value of x ng rational functions kapag yung simplified equation natin leads to a quadratic equation. And this is the end for our part 2 ng ating pagsasolve ng rational functions. Thank you for watching.